My name is um, Dr. Brown, Barry Brown, and um, I am the uh, manager of the project, um, uh, SNAPA, which is the St. Kitts and Nevis Aquaculture Pilot Project and Environmental Research, um, was written in the year 2000, and we spent nine years developing the project, and um, we have gotten to a stage now where we are actually the first persons in the world to grow tilapia, which is a freshwater fish that originated in Africa, in full strength Atlantic seawater. Um, we welcome anybody who wants to visit for a tour and to see the operation as it is. And um, we have great hopes in terms of future expansion. First of all, um, aquaculture is worldwide. And it is practiced in countries that have large rivers, streams, or large freshwater ponds. St. Kitts has none of the above. What we have is the Caribbean on one side and the Atlantic on the other side. And therefore, um, I approached all the experts, which are the Taiwanese, the Koreans, the Japanese, um, University of Guelph, University of West Indies, University of the Virgin Islands, and they all said, it's impossible to grow tilapia in seawater. And um, for that reason, most of the development specialists and the funding agencies um, chose Santo Domingo, St. Vincent, and Dominica for the development of, um, you know, projects. So um, I started in 2000 to do the experiment with the Atlantic seawater. And um, we killed quite a few fishes and so on. But of course, when we lost, we didn't lose the lesson too, you know. And that is where the development started. And nine years later, we had one set of the, the, the trial broodstock breeding. And then that was, we started with six, or three pairs. And we developed from that. We have maybe two and a half million fish now. Some of the obstacles or the hiccups that we have, one is land, you know, the available land. We're sitting on land that has been actually donated by landowners around here, you know. We're using a peppercorn lease um, here. Um, feed was one of the biggest problems, to getting um, the proper feed with the nutrition values, you know. Um, the other thing was um, pumping water on a regular basis from the sea. And we're still working on that in terms of whether we're going to use wind or, you know, solar, right? And, of course, we're looking for funding because, you know, this is an NGO. It's a non-government, you know, organization. And um, it has, a, it's a development component which we'd hope that the, the larger um, society and persons who are interested in agricultural pursuits would be interested. And, therefore, the technology, you know, can be... Um, passed on. In a career like this, it takes a lot of mistakes to exactly get the correct answer. And most young people today, when they make a mistake, they give up. As an individual, I like challenges, and that motivates me. Whether if it's a challenge from God, or if it's a challenge from Dr. Brown, or if it's a challenge from a tourist who is interested in knowledge here, asking specific questions, it's the challenge. I'd love to be a part of the project and influence other young people who are interested to make something of their life and try to better their character as a person in society. I would love to be a part of that project to help develop the society, persons in the society, the environment, community, the whole federation if I have to. Treat it as a project, you know, and it needs to to have the um the what I'd call um all the backward and forward linkages, you know, that is the project development 
um, the market aspect of it as well as the scientific aspect, you know, and to involve as many persons who regard themselves as professional. Because um, if you go into the theory of um, aquaculture, you will find that um, growing tilapia is one of the easiest aspects. Um, it's a tough fish. It grows under very adverse um, conditions. And um, it is growing so fast that um, they figure that in 20 years, most of the third world countries will be fed with tilapia as a very important um, staple or part of their um, protein requirement. You know? So that's where we want to go.